Hello! Alright, so I got a bunch of new goodies today, uh, since I'm horribly irresponsible and apparently have no willpower. Uh, uh but don't, don't worry about me, the massive profits I'm sure to rake in from this YouTube channel, what with its 500 total views spread across 5 videos, uh, sure to offset the cost of all these toys, so I'll be fine. Uh, a bunch of new action figures. So I should be uploading multiple videos in the next week or so. Uh, but first, I'm going to start with the, deep breath now, Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Golden Disc Collection Autobot Puffer and Autobot Road Ranger 2-Pack. Short and sweet. Rolls right off the tongue. Um, so, so I'm pretty excited for this. This 2-Pack features some pretty obscure deep cuts, which uh, we will get to once I once I open the figures here in a minute. Uh, first, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Not much on the front here, just the generic golden disc artwork. Uh, on the back here, we have, of course, the robot in vehicle mode of Autobot Puffer, turning into a semi there, and Autobot Road Ranger. Also turning into a semi. Um, so yeah, a lot to talk about here. Let's go ahead and crack these dudes open and explain who the heck they are. Okay, so here we have the robot modes of Road Ranger and Puffer looking pretty fantastic. Uh, so like I said, this set, these characters are, are pretty obscure. This, is, this set is a real deep cut. Uh, so who the heck are these guys? Uh, it all begins with the original Huffer, a uh, classic fan favorite character. So the original Huffer was released in the very first year of the Transformers line as part of the first wave of Microbots. He was a little purple and yellow robot who turned into a semi-truck. A few years later, he was retooled as Pipes. Uh, there were some differences. The arms worked differently. The cab transformed differently. The body was kind of flipped around. Uh, and Pipes had a primarily dark blue color scheme with white accents. But there was a European variant of Pipes released that had the color scheme reversed. It was primarily white with blue accents. Except that Pipes actually had the exact same mold as the original Huffer. Rather than the American or the, the main release of Pipes. Uh, but anyways, that, uh, that European variant of Pipes, the white European variant, was known as Puffer. And then years later, the original Huffer was again redecoed in an orange and black color scheme as part of an e-hobby exclusive. And that character was named Road Ranger. Um, I think there might be a GoBots connection also. I can't quite remember. Because Hasbro bought the rights to GoBots in 1991, and I believe there was a GoBot named Road Ranger, but I, I can't remember if there's actually a connection between that GoBot and the, the orange and black Huffer version. So yeah, to sum it up, uh, Huffer became Pipes, and Pipes was redecoed as Puffer, except Puffer was actually Huffer, and then Huffer was again redecoed as Road Ranger, and except this Road Ranger is Huffer and this Puffer is Pipes. Got it? Simple. Anyways, uh, let's take a closer look at these guys. Let's do a quick 360 on each of these here. So you do have the cab sticking out prominently, of course. Um, doesn't bother me on these characters, I must say. I can't actually see my camera right now, so hopefully I'm on there. Uh, so yeah, these dudes are looking pretty fantastic right off the bat. Let's take a quick look at the articulation. So arms, forward, backward, uh, horizontally up to shoulder height. There is a swivel joint on the upper arm. No rotation on the wrist, no swivel joint on the lower arm. Head, back and forth, up and down. Waist. Uh, not really any forward or, well, no, yeah, no forward or backward bend at the waist, but there is side to side, although mine only seems to want to go in one direction, there we go. Uh, legs, forward, backward, horizontally, up to waist height, knee bend, 
uh, no articulation on the feet, no swivel joint on the upper leg. Although, if you can see here, the way the leg connects right here does allow a lot of swivel. So I guess, in spite of there not being like a swivel joint here, um, functionally pretty much the same. And Pipes, I'm going to assume, has the same articulation. Yes, uh, yep, same exact articulation on Pipes, it looks like. Uh, uh, but yeah, right off the bat, I think both of these guys look pretty great. I primarily bought this two-pack for Road Ranger. I, I thought he looked pretty awesome um, when I saw the images online. But now that I have them in hand, I really like this uh, this puffer figure. He looks, he looks fantastic. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look at each of these guys. We'll start with Road Ranger. So this is the exact same mold or, or sculpt as the... Um, recent Huffer figure that was released, other than the head. This is a new sculpt for the head, which it does look pretty fantastic. As much up close here, we got the bright orange with like the darker burnt orange around the edges. There is a bit darker orange on the upper legs and at the waist here. And of course, the iconic silver pipe arms. And of course, the black truck cab back here with the red windshield. And then on pipes, take a closer look. Yeah, he looks he looks pretty fantastic. Uh, uh, so yeah, he's looking pretty great. Again, this is the same mold or sculpt as the pipes figure, uh, but with a different head sculpt. And I do like this new head sculpt. You've got the little mohawk ridge here. Cool red visor. Can't go wrong there. Face mask. Uh, this bright white here looks really great. It looks really vibrant. And we've got the darker sort of off-white here, like the accents at the hips and on the upper legs, which really makes this white pop even more. It makes it seem even brighter. And again, the iconic silver arms here. Um, so yeah, they both look pretty fantastic. Oh yeah, and the back. Uh, as far as accessories for Road Ranger, we have this gun here, uh, which actually splits in half here and you, you for the vehicle mode you can slap that on the sides of the truck and it makes like a, a truck rail but we'll go ahead and, and put that back together toss that into into his hand here and he also has like Huffer this uh, claw shield I believe they call it which looks pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and pop that on as well right, there we go looking pretty cool there and of course Puffer would not be complete without his cool arm cannons here. Uh, I saw someone online, I think it was an Amazon review, refer to these arm cannons as beefy. And now that's all I can think of every time I I, I see these, is beefy arm cannons, uh, which looking pretty tough, pretty iconic. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm really impressed by this puffer figure, I must say. I like it a lot more than I had anticipated. He looks pretty awesome. He looks really tough with those arm cannons on there. Looks like he's getting ready to ready to blast someone there. Road Ranger looking pretty tough with his shield and his gun. So yeah. So yeah, both of these guys looking pretty fantastic. Um very pleased with this set. Again, Huffer is a fan favorite character, apparently, from what I see online. Uh, I, um, but even if you have a Huffer figure, I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. I think it looks different enough, especially with the new head sculpt. Uh, totally different color scheme, obviously. Um, to stand on its own, I think it's a cool figure in and of itself, even if you already have the Huffer figure with the same sculpt. And as far as Puffer, I am super impressed with him. I actually like this quite a bit more than the Pipes figure, I must say. Uh, that comes down to, to personal taste because it's, you know, largely the same same character. But I much prefer this sort of vibrant, bright white color scheme to the to the reverse with the dark blue with white accents. I, I don't know, something about this. I, I just like this look a lot better. It looks nice and clean and sharp. Uh, he looks super tough with his, again, beefy arm cannons here. Looks like he's ready to, to kick some butt, blast some Decepticons. Um, again, Road Ranger looks pretty tough with the claw shield and the, the big rifle here. Both of them with their iconic silver pipe arms. Um, so yeah, super, super pleased with them overall. Um, 
again, I, even even the Autobot label or Autobot logo pops a lot more with this with this sort of vibrant white background. I must say, yeah, just uh, this is just a really clean, sharp looking figure. I, I'm super pleased with with Puffer. I must say, um, so yeah, definitely like this set. I don't know if I want to transform these dudes because, as you have probably seen, if you saw any of my other videos, which I guess I should say you probably haven't seen because no one has watched my videos. Um, I am very, very bad at transforming Transformers for some bizarre reason. I swear I'm not a dumb person in general, but boy, I sure am an idiot when it comes to transforming Transformers. I'm, I don't even really quite understand why. So, not sure if I want to attempt it or not. Um, and to be honest, I can't really see anyone displaying either of these two figures in vehicle mode. Um, they both look way cooler in robot mode, I think. Not that there's anything wrong with the vehicle mode, but the robot modes look awesome, and there's far more distinctive trucks out there in, in the Transformers world if you want to display one of your Transformers as a truck. Um, you know, these are just pretty basic semi-cab looking trucks when they transform into vehicle mode, but the robot modes look super sharp, especially, again, I mean, I like both of them a lot. I really do like this Road Ranger. But super, super happy with the Puffer in particular. So, yeah, two thumbs up in my book. Super happy with the set. No complaints. Um, yeah, two thumbs up. So, thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye.